they're really scary. Um, what the heck? I'll take get so ahead of everyone. Whoa, this skin is cool. Did they redo it? I don't remember this. It looks like they remodeled it or something. And uh, maybe not. But it's weird. Um, uh, let's see. I'll go Claude. Alright. So I was talking about Fiora's passive. Um, it's Duelist. She regens 8 health. Well, level 1. It's 8 health over 6 seconds every time she deals physical damage. And then if you hit a champion, it stacks up to 4 times. So you can get up to like 32 health per 6. Oops. It is Jace top. Interesting. And you start with the ward and I didn't. So I'm going to be a little bit more vulnerable to ganks than he will. Just because I'm not going to have vision of this choke. And Nace could blindside me. Nace is Jace. going to be a very hard gank combo to avoid. Especially as Fiora, who really doesn't have any way to get away from a gank. She can go in, her gap close or lunge is definitely a powerful tool to do so. But in terms of escapability, if you don't have your ult, then you're going to be generally in a bad spot. But I think I can use the cloth armor, the bonus armor, and the extra health pods to play aggressive enough early and push Jace out of lane or kill him, hopefully. Let's see. Please lock up. There you go. And I'm gonna run top through this way. Jace could be in the brush. He might try to get some burst off on me. I'm gonna skill up Q. And nope, he's not. I missed one melee creep worth of gold, but I still got the XP, and that's the most important thing. Um, level one. So I took Kilo on. I went hard on him. And now I'm level 2. Uh, he's staying pretty far back. I may E level 2 to see if I can all in him. He's playing very, very safe though. And he just got level 2. So my level 2 advantage over him is going to be diminished a bit. Um, I already blew one of his health pots. I blew one of mine as well to make up for the exchange. And he has two flat stacks left. Once I get level 3, I get repost, so I'll have the ability to reflect one of his auto attacks. And I just actually need to submit. So I know he's probably going to be hitting top soon. I think he's trying to beat me. I could have went, went for him there. But I was about to level 3, and I really wanted that before going aggro. And I ah, fuck. No, uh, oh, thank you. Hey. Oh, uh, Nace is Jace King so brutal. I should just flash preemptively, um, before Jace could have flashed and knocked me away from my turret. If I flashed before he got his flash E off, then I would have been fine. But I held it for too long there, and that sealed my fate. I didn't think he was going to go for it, but I should have respected the possibility for sure there. Um, so that's going to put me behind. I did feel flash, but it was actually a waste of flash. I should have just died. Because to be honest, Nasus had popped Ghost. He would have easily caught me even if I went over the wall. And I ended up giving the kill to Jace, so that's worse for me anyway. And if I still had flash, I probably would have been able to make a kill combo onto Jace um, when he returned to lane. Just because Jace popped his flash to get me out of position. And then I could use my flash uh, to get a revenge kill very easily. Because I'm actually stronger than him in skirmishes. But for now, I just got to deal with the fact that I died and try to come back from it. 
Jace is now missing. I got boots. I would have gone for Duran's Blade or something, but I didn't really have enough gold to get Duran's Blade plus Pots plus Award. Um, so I chunked him pretty hard there. Oops, I thought that was going to be an auto pick. And I got two points in W right now. W maxing gives you bonus AD, but it also gives you increased damage whenever uh, you reflect an auto attack. And once I hit six, I get my ultimate, and that bonus AD is actually going to be really effective and giving me the damage potential to burst down Jace. Um, uh, I'm still behind the. I really need a kill to get back in the game. He's probably going to EQ into this brush. Approaching level 6. I really want that ASAP. Oh my god, my W reflected on the cannon creep and it ended up giving me the CS for it. Almost level 6. I'm gonna auto the wave so I can get it. I really need one more creep, my god. You know. Alright, I'm pushing this up. Nice, Cards Assault allowed me to pick up the kill on that. Um, just gonna push this up and try to get the wave as close to his fair as possible before he respawns. He's up in seven. I think Nasus and Nilly were just mid. So no one should be able to really push this up and hold it before he gets to the turret. Actually, if Nasus heads here right now, he might be able to make it in time. That's probably where he's going. That's probably where he's going for. Alright, I'm gonna back. Okay, let's see. Um, I'll get a Vamp Scepter and a Longsword and a Ward. I think with Vamp Scepter, my, my sustain will be enough to stay in lane against Jace. I think now that I've gotten a kill, I'm gonna be strong enough to just kill him. And I trade him for the most part. Unless I eat, if if I eat a free shock class combo, then it could be tricky. But I'm pretty confident that I can outplay him. Um, and let's see. Yeah, keep maxing her post. It's a seven second cooldown, and if I reflect an auto attack, I mitigate. Uh, oh, I mitigate all the damage, and I deal about, about 210 back to him. So that's pretty damn significant. The way he's pushing towards me right now, I just saw Nasus heading top. I'm just gonna sit back a little bit. And wait for this to push up. I really want the wave as well. Every time Jason misses a shock blast combo, it's actually a really good opportunity to go aggressive onto him. Um, the thing is, right now, the wave's like just sitting in my turret, and I really want to pick up the gold for it, so. I need his ignite up. You know, shock glass calling me from that brush. Uh, and at least going top. Maybe I can outplay her. Oh, fuck, there are two men colliding on me. 
Oh, they backed off. Just could have waited for Carla's salt, but I just didn't want her to risk it. If I got on Nilly there, I would actually burst her if she tried to get a cougar a cougar pounce on me. But I think what ended up happening is fine. I'm not gonna push it. I'm not gonna push my luck too hard. They wasted a lot of time top, so that's actually really good for us. And let's see. I get a bilge water. It's gonna make my kill combo much more powerful. And I should be able to just all in Jace every time the cooldown is up. Uh, if I have my ult as well, and just kill him. Um, Blade and King, not bad on Fiora. She has a very high passive attack speed story, so th there is some synergy there. However, she scales really hard off of flat AD, and Blade and King, I guess it's almost similar to how Zed works. Um, you can buy it on him to increase your kill potential, but you're trading off your maximum DPS potential, especially in like team fight scenarios. 1v1 it's very good, but I'm not going to be doing nearly as much uh, AoE damage with my blade waltz and stuff like that if I'm going to get a blade rune king. So I haven't really locked into anything yet, we'll see. However, um, it's not that bad. It's definitely, all right. it's definitely an okay purchase. working on chunking a little bit. Um, the reason I'm okay with trading like that is because he has pretty much nothing in terms of sustain. I didn't even have to pop my bilge out of there. I didn't have an opportunity. Ideally, I would have liked to have gotten him low enough so that my blade waltz just would have one-shot him. Because if my blade waltz one would have one-shot him, then I wouldn't have actually even drawn tower aggro when I came out of my ultimate. But instead, he had auto-attack one more time for the kill, and that actually ended up redrawing the turret aggro on me. But thankfully, I only took one turret shot, so it wasn't it wasn't that bad um, in terms of how it played out. All right, let's see. Um, I'm gonna get a Vamp Scepter. Um, I'm just gonna sit on Buildwater Cutlass. I'm just gonna use it for my kill combo for now. It's pretty gold efficient in terms of the stats, but you get the 1 minute 30 second cooldown on the active ability, and you can use that to uh, go aggressive on people. I didn't, even have to, I didn't even have to use it in the last fight, although I definitely could have used it before I went on, on, when I went on him. Um, he pushed the way up really hard. I'm just gonna try to catch it, and. Now that I have uh twenty two percent lifesteal, I should be easily I should easily be able to sustain um against pretty much anything. And just bully this guy out of lane really hard. He actually has did he steal blue? Oh my god, he's still blue. Wow, he had a warded. Shock blasted it. It's crazy. Hey. I should be able to steal it though. And by steal it I mean kill him and take it back. But let's see if he actually even comes back to the top lane. This is Warden mid. It's going to fade in about a, a minute 30. Oh shit, he's coming top. He's leaving our jungle. Okay, it's fine. If I get this guy low, my ult is up. I have everything available. Gain nearly 46 health back with an auto. That's pretty crazy. And the reason life steal so strong on Fiora is because if you max W, you get such a ridiculous attack speed stero or attack damage steroid. It's just a bonus flat 30 AD constantly, and that's really really significant. And of course, if you have more damage and your life stealing constantly off of that, then Uh, 
as annoying. Huh, let's see. Basically, I should have waited for him to auto attack me and get the, try to get the repose damage off before I proc my ultimate because I popped W, but it didn't actually get blown up, so I didn't get the bonus 260 damage on Jace. Um, but if I did, he easily would have died there. Also, my ignite was down, so it was a little bit questionable. I knew Nace was coming, but I actually thought I could blow up the Jace there um, before they could get on me, and I was mistaken, unfortunately. Um, it was an aggressive play that did not end up working out. And even though Carlos Salty didn't try to give me some aerial support, I did not have enough damage to take him down. If he didn't jump in, he actually juked it out pretty well though. He jumped in the brush, Nace had Wither on me so I wasn't able to combo twice with Lunge and get additional auto attacks off, and then he just flash E comboed away um, into the brush so I wasn't able to actually finish him off. I had flash up but I would, have, I would have had to get two auto attacks there to actually secure the kill. And if I flashed I would have only gotten one off so it, would, it wouldn't have been worth it. Um, anyway you try to think about it. So you just tried to combo with top wave. Oh, he's still doing it. I push this up and dive him, I think. I just picked up pickaxe plus longsword, so my, my damage potential is actually pretty heavily increased. Um, he's just sitting behind the wall, just throwing out shock blasts. His turret still has a lot of health. I could kill him. I'm gonna wait. I'm just gonna push it up. And see if he wants to stay and hold the wave. There's definitely people holding top right now, though. Yeah, I, I know. I know. Nasus at least is coming top. All right. I'm pretty sure I can hundred to zero him. I think he just disappeared. I'm gonna try to push this wave up. Needs to nearly or mid. Jace is missing. I'm gonna check his turret. Oh, he's still here. He's almost full health though. He's been eating health pots the whole time. He's never gonna walk close enough to his brush to let me kill him, I don't, I don't think. Unless he's trying to bait a gank, which is definitely a possibility. He's playing this correctly. They know I have no ward, so I'm going to be vulnerable to a gank. I shouldn't have walked out. I didn't think he was going to come close to me. But I lost the game of chicken. I should have just kept pushing out. However, I think this time I should, be able, I should have enough damage to easily kill Jace. Um, even if Nasus shows up. If I can get away from Nasus, that is another question. But I'm pretty confident in my ability to 1v2. And come out with at least a 1 for 1 trade. Oh, I'm moving. Oh my god, three people. I guess we're getting rid of that. He has boots too, he's gonna catch up to me. Oh! Oh my god, if I if I if I could get W up, I could have turned that on her easily. I thought we were I thought we wanted to look to fight that. That's why I walked towards the blue. But then I saw Nades running at me. I was like, well, that's not good. Oh my god. I think I would have died there, even if the Jace shock blast would have didn't hit me. But it would have been really close. Cause I just if I got my rear post up, Nidalee and Cougar Form can't burst me because my, my block actually counters her Q damage. So she would have at best gotten a W or an, an E off because she would have had to use W to, to jump to me, and the one one E wouldn't have killed me there. But yeah, I was out of position. It was a bit silly. Uh, I should have been so close to the fight, especially because Jarvan had already got really chunked and had to back out. I thought maybe me and Carlos could go in and try two v three, but 
that was a that was a questionable decision anyway. Anyway, going back top, um, I actually picked up enough gold for a ravenous hydra, and I think I'm gonna get that and try to push out. Um, so you used to have really good synergy with the old Tiamat, just because you used to be able to. Well, basically, your ultimate sort of counts as an auto attack. It applies on hit effects, including Tiamat or Ravenous Hydra um, active or passive components. So you can splash around with Blade Waltz and get all of that bonus damage off. Um, the thing is, the old Tiamat was really, really good with Fiora because it used to do a percent of the max damage that you're dealing in the AoE. And now Ravenous Hydra only applies like a percent of your max AD. It doesn't really, it doesn't apply a percent of the damage you're actually dealing, which used to be uh, more significant in certain scenarios. But anyway, let's see. Yeah, you just straight up flashed. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I lost vision of him. I could have warded into the brush and then gone. Hey. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Damn. Well, I picked up Jace. However, I died for it. Uh, Newly and Jenna were top, so we're getting some objectives across the map, I hope. All tech. Oh, he's going ham. Nice job. Is he going to be fine? I think he's fine. Alright, let's see. Get a pickaxe, keep working on bolstering that max AD, and I think when I work on Last Whisper next, uh, that needs is pretty strong. Echo could be dead. Altex coming, trying to help. Or Echo's just gonna turn it and kill both of them. That works too. He's almost doomed, but he has enough to kill Nasus. <laughs> what the heck? Trying to help. Save me. Oh yeah, you zoom. Well, that was too win. I was like, all right, let's turn this, and then I, I realized he had no health or mana. Probably should have just stayed away from those guys. That wasn't the best call, especially without my ultimate. If I had my ult, I could 100 to 0 the Jace easily um, with Ignite available. But going in without ult up was very questionable indeed. I need 9 armor gold for Last Whisper. Once I get Last Whisper, my abilities will be doing close to true damage because on most targets, except for Ezreal and I guess Nisus, Jace and Nilly are just building pure damage, and Janna, of course, just squishy support. She doesn't have any armor items completed yet. Um, but the good thing is that I can pretty much 100 to 0 Nilly or Jace every fight if I want, including uh, getting a bunch of AoE damage off with Blade Waltz in the fight as well. Jace just pushed that top. He's actually pretty strong. He has completed more mana and... I guess he's looking for Last Whisper comp to finish it up, finish, finish up next. Um, I'm just going to push this out. Our blue is up. Carthus should probably get it. He has nearly 3k mana under his belt, but the CDR will definitely help out a lot. Oh, I'm coming. We can turn this so easily. Shut down Nidalee. Carthus died. I think getting a shut down Nidalee was more important than trying to kill the Jason and Aces there. So that actually worked out decently well for us. I'm just going to push this up. We can actually take this turret. Once my E comes up, I'll just melt it. Oh yeah, they are moving on bot. I'm trying, I'm trying to move the health. I'll take no. Oh, he's dead. Well, at least you got the turret. Uh-oh. Trying 
Try and get the blue. Oh God! No! I just wanted to steal the blue. Uh, you should be able to get away. I think. Unless they have flash to chase. No, they're just gonna get dragon. I was working on blue, then Jarvan came around and he started hitting him. I was like, no! But then we probably should have tried to take blue and backed up. That would have been the safest call there. Uh, I got last whisper completed now, so I got. My Ravenous Hydro last was for combo. I'm doing a lot of damage. Although I am very squishy. But Fiora is a champion where I think, for the most part, you can get away with building just a lot of damage. Because Blade Waltz allows you to just get in a fight and stay invulnerable for a few seconds. And you can get a massive amount of damage off during that combo. If you get it on the AD carry... Actually, Blue Ezreal is questionable, because most ADs won't have armor completed until very, very late game, or if they pick up an early chain vest to counter like a heavy AD team or something like that. But Blue Ezreal um, passively builds Glacial Shot anyway, so that's actually going to prevent him uh, from getting burst for the most part. At least in one shot by me, I think. Um, but yeah, like a lot of times, if you're playing against ADs, as we are, you can literally just... Oh, shit. I got everyone pretty low. Trade my life for Ezreal. Um, Card Assault didn't actually do anything but get everyone lower there. Because Ezreal, died. Ezreal died before the Card Assault cast. But now they're all pretty chunked. We are missing our Card Assault though. But I think we should, be, we should still be able to win the fight. 4v4. Um, Altex really fed. He gets the auto people though. That was really good. Karthus died to the Nilly Spears. It's 2 4 1 in our favor. Um, I'm going to go clear top out. Actually, I think I'll take something on that. I don't mind. He just wastes his QSS. He has an accident. I can get top turret. Oh, he's, he's pulling the wild card. Oh my god, they saw him. He's fine. I was like, no, I have to go help him. But then he just walked away. I was like, oh, okay, that works. Alright, we're kind of getting top turret. If anyone tries to come to hold, I should be able to one shot them. Um, I have to wait for 22 seconds, so that's actually quite a while. I'll just take the turret. No, uh, they're moving on me. I'm dead. Uh, okay, I'm okay. Nasus is here. I cannot one hundred to zero Nasus. He built pure armor, and he's actually very tanky. Let's see. Their team: Bane, Jarman. Get a brutalizer. It's kind of late. I don't like getting a late brutalizer, but I think I'm gonna work on Black Fever here. Um, we have Main and Jarvan, who can both scale off my armor pen very well. Oh, fuck. they just gave them a free brand. Keep going, I'll take. I was gonna say Carlos should also cancel their recalls, but. It wasn't up, so we can make that play. We push top up. I pretty much have no defensive items at this point. Uh, I could have gone for Merc Treads, but I don't really need it against their team. They have pretty much no crowd control. Oh, go all pick. I'm going to keep pushing top out. Ezreal is missing, but I think I can 100 to 0 Ezreal. Ignite 15. I might need that. Oh, yeah, Ezreal's bot too. Everyone's bot. Alright, I'm gonna try to take this turret. Watch the Fjord damage at work. 
Ah, oh, shit. I, got, I walked, I queued into that. Oh, Jesus! Oh, I didn't get my... I think I started the animation for Ravenous Hydra after I flashed, but it didn't go off. Because it was, it was still off cooldown when I died. I tried to flash Ravenous Hydra because I knew he'd be at the edge of the brush, but that did not end up working as well as I would have liked it to. Well, I tried to lifesteal off the big golem so I could re-engage on whoever I wanted. Um, I actually didn't expect Nidus to be there when I started fighting him, but I knew they'd move, and it took me actually quite a while to get Jay slow enough for the kill. Um, we had Card Assault, so that was able to finish him off, but I was still out of position. Probably should have just backed off and went back to buy. Um, let's see, I have enough for Black Cleaver here. Do I want it, though? That's a question. It wouldn't be bad. My ultimate, every time it applies damage in the team fight, it'll also be applying the Black Cleaver Armor Shred. Um, and if I use it on one target, then he'll be completely shredded. Because basically, the way Blade Waltz works is, if you use it on one target, then it'll hit the person five times, but it'll deal 25% 25 reduced damage on each hit. So if you use it on one target right now, it's going to be doing like 1600 damage. Um, if it splashes to five unique people, then it's going to be doing like it's going to be like nearly three thousand damage uh, to the whole team. But usually, it ends up bouncing to people like more than once, so it's going to be doing reduced damage on that. But if it hits the per same person three, uh, five times, then it's going to be doing. 25% reduced damage on each hit. Oh my god, I got such a... I need to heal. I'm gonna heal off this top row. Uh... Moving on mid, we could actually fight this really easily. I don't want to be the first one to go in though. I need Jarvan to initiate, and then I can follow up right afterward. doing this oh the flash wall please that was the worst oh my god I didn't have flash up I couldn't gap those properly oh my god he got sniped uh, I just couldn't get to them. I ended up wasting my all on Janet because I was about to get burst down. That was so stupid. I tried to Q. I tried to double Q into ultimate, but basically the targets I had available were Nasus and Janna. Ezreal, Jason, Nilly were way far in the back. I think I could have actually gotten on them if I was a little bit faster there, but I was a bit behind the team. I didn't expect Cardus to flash ult or flash wall. Oh, nice job. Altex doing a lot of damage. He's really, really fed. Um, let's see. I'll have flash up for the next fight, so I should be able to get my ult off on people that actually matter. Right there, I hit Janna, who died in one shot, but it wasn't it wasn't very lucrative for us. We still won the team fight because we're really, really strong, 
especially Vayne, but it could have been like a clean sweep and an ace. Um, if I played it right. I'll get Mercs here, and I'll get a Dagger as well. Um, they don't have that much CC, but I want Mercs for the Boots too, and the Tenacity, and the extra MR. They have a lot of magic damage. Nace and Nilly are chunking me pretty hard. See you, nerds. Oh, we're fighting this? Okay. There it is. That's the damage I'm talking about. Uh, oh, nice job. Now oh, we can end the game. So as you can see, I did a ridiculous amount of damage to the Ezreal there. Oh god, I can stop. Watch me just die. That'd be so awkward. Kurt, stop. My whole team's gonna be hitting the enemy. I'm just gonna hit the creeps to try to life steal back my health. He'll still that for 20. You keep going, I think. Do a lot of damage to turrets. And hit the turret. Ooh, nice try on the card assault. He healed too much. He had home guard boots. I think that's what it was. He got his home guard heal off before the card assault could go. So I ended up healing him enough to survive. I'll text Stunton on them. Ah, uh, this game. Uh, so. I got it ahead in lane, picked up some kills. However, I got yanked a lot by Nasus. 